Hello, this is Lori Hargis on Domaine de Castillou in the south of France. Today I'm going to show you how to make a summer fragrance. A summer fragrance usually is fresh, fruity, and can have flowers in it. Something that's going to spark you, get you going when it's so hot and can be also heavy and humid. So the ingredients that we're going to use to make this summer fragrance are, we're going to use grapefruit, and grapefruit is a top note. All citruses have make a top note in a perfume. And that's your volatile molecules that leave the perfume first. And it's the first thing that you're going to smell when you make a fragrance or a perfume. We also have bergamot. And bergamot is also a top note. Lavender, which is your middle note. And sandalwood, which is your base note. The formulation we have is 2 drops bergamot, 24 drops grapefruit, 10 drops lavender, and 10 drops sandalwood. Also, you're going to need a 2 ounce bottle, a pipette, which you can pick up at any store or you can buy it uh, on the internet, a stirring stick. I also have pre-blended glycerin and alcohol. And for, in a two ounce bottle, I'm using 89% alcohol, 1% glycerin, and I'm also using 7% water and 3% essential oils. So the 46 drops of essential oil that I have made in this spoon here are, is 3% of two ounces. So let's put it together. You're gonna take your lid off. And first of all, I'm going to put my alcohol and glycerin base in it. I've already pre-blended it. I'm using organic alcohol, 95% proof. And if you're going to use buy alcohol, you can use vodka or some kind of clear alcohol to make your own perfume. Or you can use this as a spritzer too if you like. You want to freshen up a room, freshen up your drapes, or just have a nice, clean, energetic smell when people come over to visit. And now I'm going to put my lid on this so I don't spill it all over. Take my pipette, suck up the essential oil into it, and put it into the alcohol, glycerin, and water base that I have. Make sure I'm getting all of it. Okay. Put my lid on. My cap. And then I'm going to roll it between my hands to get the essential oils into the glycerin, the alcohol, and the water base. Then I'm going to write my label, Summer Fragrance, 2 drops bergamot, 24 drops grapefruit, 10 drops lavender, and 10 drops sandalwood. And the date today is the 16th of July 2015. Now it's also phototoxic so make sure you write that on your label if you're going to spray it on your body. This product is phototoxic because you have grapefruit and you have bergamot in it. So what you're going to do is anytime you spray on a perfume either you can put it on your clothes like this like that that way it's not on your skin and you don't have to worry about the phototoxicity or you can put it on your pulse points around the back of your neck, your wrist, behind your knees because these are the areas where you have the most heat and so as you walk past someone your aroma will come out with this lovely summer fragrance. Also if you're going to use it as a spritzer in your house, you, you don't want to use it on your body, you just take it, spray it on your drapes, for example if you had them like this. And if you're going to spray it in a room, make sure you spray it not in, in anybody's eyes and just spray it in the corners of the room like this, okay? So this is how...
how you make a summer fragrance. This is Lori Hargis. Don't forget your essentials. Use your common sense.